It's lockdown too. It's midterm. Trying to catch up on a few little problems around the farm. I'm under my International 585 and I'm going to try and troubleshoot a problem with the hydraulics. They're known for little problems, so um, I'll just talk you through what I know so far. Um, some people will find it more interesting if it's in a video. So I've done my homework first, or a lot of it anyway. So here we are, we're behind the left wheel of the 585. And if you look up here, where I've got the sh camera shining, this here is called the MCV, uh, multiple control valve, I think that's called. And here you've got your filter housing. And to take off your, to check your filter, you need a 19 spanner to open that there and check your filter. And I'll show you um, what the filter looks like when I take it out. I am um, basically the hydraulics have got slower and slower over the last while, so. It's suspected that the filter is blocked. Um, so if you have hydraulic problems, um, the first thing to do would be to check the filter. I've taken the hydraulic filter off and you can see that it's completely blocked. I'm gonna see if we can get in here just to show you the face of the pump. The flash is on so it should show you that gunk that's in there. I didn't actually get in to see it so I'm going to view the footage on the phone. <laughs> I'm going to put on a new filter, tighten it up. It's important that it's tightened correctly because um, if it's not it'll, it'll suck air basically and it won't pump properly. I'm lucky enough to be living um, only a half an hour from Conity tractor parts, so I just tipped down there and um, got a new filter and the new o-ring kit um, I've cleaned up the bypass screen pretty well. This is a separate part. It doesn't it's not included with the filter and uh, It's an expensive enough part So that's cleaned up and uh, we're gonna have a go at fitness. I've replaced the filter and the housing and uh, torque that bolt up just be careful not to over torque it or you'll twist or, or distort the housing. Um, so while I'm here, I've released the pilot relief valve, just letting that oil drain out. And you may see beside that, that hole there, that port, um, I've removed the, I think it's called the flow, flow divider. Here's the bits out now, this is the flow divider. Um, size 32 spanner or the imperial equivalent. It's probably imperial if it's a English Doncaster model. I'm not sure exactly, but um, and this one here is the pilot relief valve. And there doesn't seem to be any scoring or any wear on these here. Um, so I'm just going to put them back in and hope for the best. And if this doesn't solve it, I have to go to my local expert, Patsy Gary. Here's the moment of truth. Everything's back to normal.